In this video, we're going to talk about saving and loading data using NumPy. I'm going to use the software, uh, the program that I developed for the face recognition task from images that I used in the last video that I uploaded. For those of you who haven't seen it, I'm going to put the link in the description so you can check it out. But I'm not going to go through the details of how it works. We're just going to use the images from that program uh, you, in this video when we save and load the images. So basically, the face uh, recognition task was we got the original image, uh, a large image, and we used the CV2 cascade classifiers to extract the faces from that image. And what we're going to do now is just save these to a NumPy uh, file, and then we're going to load them up. So let's see how this works. So first of all, I'm going to run the program that we developed in uh, the last video. So as we can see here, we have the ori original image, we detect the faces, and we extract the faces. So what we're interested in now is we want to save this down. So first of all, as we can see, we're uh, iterating through the faces list here. Um, so the first thing that is natural for us to do is just to uh, save this list down, right, as a file so we can load it up later. And we're going to use the NumPy save for that. So NumPy save, first of all, we want the uh, name of the file to be saved, and then we have the data. And this is supposed to be uh, a NumPy array here, so see that we're converting the NumPy array, uh, the uh, list to a NumPy array. Running this, uh, we can now check that our file is saved. As we can see here, we have face data, uh, dot numpy, and we're going to use this one later. Uh, so it's uh, successfully saved. So how do we load this up? Well. NumPy comes with the load uh, function as well, so we're going to try that one out. So let's see, loaded faces. Cool, let's see if this works. Awesome, so as we can see, we successfully loaded uh, our face data at NumPy uh, file. And uh, it shows the same data, so that's awesome. What we're going to try now is just to stack these on each other so we get two of these images and save them down to see that we actually can twerk this data that we loaded and save them to a new file. So for that, we're going to use the NumPy vstack function to stack this uh, NumPy array on, uh, on itself once. So let's see uh, the shape of this. As we can see, we now have two images uh, of the size. So that's awesome. Now we have them successfully stacked. Let's save this down. And then we'll load it up. And we print them out to see if it works. And we have two of the same image. So we successfully um, saved the image here when we stacked them on each other. Uh, so this is the basics of just saving a NumPy array uh, down to a file using the NumPy save function. And then we load them using the NumPy load function. And as you can see, it works uh, perfectly. So I hope that you uh, can successfully do this now yourself uh, and implement the save and load functions in NumPy. They're great to work with. I use them a lot when I do massive pre-processing of data, especially images, so I can save them down and then just load them up uh, for later use. And then if I have more files to work with, uh, I can just load the original files, I can pre-process these new files and then just vstack them to the old NumPy array and save them down. So it's really good if you work with a lot of files so you don't have to do the pre-processing every time. If you have any questions regarding uh, loading and saving data in NumPy, just drop down a comment below and I'll try to answer them as soon as possible. And the case is probably that some other person watching this video have experienced the same issues, so you can help each other out as well. I'm going to upload more uh, videos about programming and machine learning and AI in general on this uh, channel. So if you like this and you find it useful, please subscribe and you so you can take, well, knowledge in the other videos I'm going to upload as well. 
So I hope you like this and I hope it works out for you just fine. Uh, and as always, I hope that you will have a really good day.